Peace up, everybody. <clears throat> Pardon me, I just woke up. Welcome back to the Walking Dead. I'm sorry about the audio. The last two videos, but I got some new headphones, and let's pray that this mic works. I'm still tripped out way. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! Yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine, Bro. Girl, wherever she is, I have to find her. <clears throat> we have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. Who the hell is that? Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her. I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. Bitch, your ass will use us. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. And it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah. Totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. All you gotta do is cut off your hand, Lee. Nothing through here. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. I ain't got time to be trying to talk. This isn't gonna help. What's this? Just some surgical supplies.
I'll have these doors open in two seconds. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it, cut it off. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. Easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. Uh. I'll go as fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. Ah! Ah! Try to stay still. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! I know! Lost you. You've been out a while, man. That's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Bro. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. At least it was his left arm and not his right arm. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible. See if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. Come on, dude. You got this, man. 
fucking peachy. Come on, dude. Savannah was empty. Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up and all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. I know we can't afford dead weight, so don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. This to be honest and rational. Right about now. I lost my fucking arm, bro. Into the fire. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Where's Kenny? What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that Bell Tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. I made thousands of them. It'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Hmm. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't <laughs> worry more than you should about her, okay? Mm. 
I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. <clears throat> I don't know if I should tell him that. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Hmm. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not <laughs> the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clear. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? I was worried you wouldn't come with me. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. If we use this ladder, we can get across. <laughs> Whoa! You need some help with that? I got it. Buy some time. Draw as many as we can this way. <coughs> Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? <laughs> so we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing <laughs> looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. <laughs> Damn it, kitty. Damn it, kitty. Goddamn, kitty. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there?
coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Could have went down the thing. The hedge. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. This boy still limping. Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone! Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey guys? No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization. But, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! Uh-huh. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, Yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch That's your the smartest mouth. thing to do. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. <laughs> Krista! Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny, look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omid, 
What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Let me go. They ain't getting me again. Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! <laughs> Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! better everyone okay Lee still bitten shut up okay let's get out of here and keep moving kids right we got to keep moving think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves I don't know maybe well we're not going out through this window no latches no roof access and 30 feet straight down anyone have any ideas I bet this guy would he's got a resourceful air about him knock it off Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial Mead, Krista, just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm really parents. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation 
about what happens if Lee takes another spill? Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look. <laughs> it's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not <laughs> This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in there bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can you not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see him with his family. What did he do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. <laughs> Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. It's just... 
Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. <laughs> how are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? Might have. <laughs> I'm sorry to hurt you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through. She knocked that big bike. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. <coughs> this place seems pretty sealed off. Well, excuse me. seen go they got to do it their own way together don't you say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more there's no use dwelling on it you know that no Lee I could have been a better husband better father could have been a better friend so let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Okay. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house <laughs> looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> just saying. Peaceful. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> it's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here.
Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? I'm gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today. It's good to be moving. You ready for whatever's coming? I got a lot of pain inside me, Lee. I'd like to get even a little bit of it out. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Careful, Cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find yeah, something. Yeah. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Come on, something, something. No. What about this? Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Here, baby. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. <sighs> what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Kenny! You gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! Get the fuck off me! No! Go! Oh, 
Where... where'd he go? Maybe... maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Clementine. I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? When it comes to Clementine. Well... Ain't much choice now. No, there isn't. Easy, Krista. I don't care that he's who you wanted. But I want you to know that you don't need to worry. Okay. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Shit! Oh, fuck! Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll, we'll be there!
Okay, so where were we? Uh, how you how you know this this? How you know this the door? Joining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. What is this dude? I don't know who I am. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, 
Who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? How do you rescue Clementine from me? Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them. A day later, in the road. Damn. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Oh, what the hell is wrong with this girl? I need you to hear this before what happens <coughs> next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. It's not happening. You're crazy. 
keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. I... Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. This dude was sick. Ooh. 
Mann. Ne? Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. There. That should do it. <laughs> I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay oh, right next to me. Clean. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Why is it like that when I'm moving through warp speed or something? This ain't scary at all. you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. There's no time to be upset. Okay. I'll try not to be. Ah! 
I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You're just learning, Ella. Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't. I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. Come on, Lee. You gotta keep pushing. <laughs> get up, Lee. The door is right here. Come on. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Come on, Lee. <gasps> You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's no big deal. It's just a glass window. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Just don't be afraid. 
if anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Kill it! You have to kill it! Watch out! Okay, this ain't even for how the hell I'm supposed to decide. I don't want to put this little girl through that.
sorry, you gotta do this cleaning time. the end of the video leave a like comment i'll be watching the comments and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace damn this fucked up